Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another instant deck tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's type 2 or standard Tuesday, and we have a sweet standard combo list to look at today. This is Divine Woe Strider combo from Jeremy, so thanks to Jeremy for sending me a really sweet deck, and a quick reminder before we break down this absurd combo deck for standard, if you enjoy this deck and you'll want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Divine Woe Strider combo is essentially a three-piece combo deck. So combo piece number one, Divine Visitation. Uh, this card does a couple of things in our deck. Basically, five mana enchantment, if a creature token would be created under our control, instead of whatever that token would be, we get a 4-4 four, four angel token with flying and vigilance. So uh, that is actually our main combo engine. We need some of our tokens to be angels because combo piece number two is Bishop of Wings. So Bishop of Wings is this weird two drop where whenever an angel comes into play under control, we gain four life. And then when an angel dies, we get a 1-1 spirit. However, remember, if we have Divide Visitation out, that 1-1 spirit actually isn't going to be a 1-1 white spirit. It's going to be a 4-4 four, four angel. So combo piece number three is a sacrifice outlet and a token producer in Woe Strider. So Woe Strider is pretty sweet with Divine Visitation by itself. When Woe Strider comes into play, it makes a 0-1 goat. 0-1 goat, not all that exciting. I mean, it's fine. You can sacrifice it. You can scry. But if we have Divine Visitation, it's not going to be a 0-1 goat. It's going to be a 4-4 angel. And then Woe Strider lets us sacrifice a creature for free, no matter required to scry one. So what this does is it puts us in a position where we can gain infinite life. Basically, we get down Divine Visitation. We get down Bishop of Wings. We play Woe Strider. Woe Strider makes a 4-4 Angel. That's going to trigger Bishop of Wings to gain us 4 life. And then we can sacrifice that Angel. And that's going to trigger Bishop of Wings to make a 1-1 White Spirit. Except that 1-1 White Spirit actually isn't a Spirit. It's a 4-4 Angel because of Divine Visitation. So we get another Angel. We gain 4 life. We sack that Angel. We get another Angel with Bishop of Wings. We gain 4 life. So this gives us literal infinite life. We could do this a million times if we want to. Gain 4 million life. And that should be enough to beat most standard decks all by itself like maybe we run into mill or something but in general i think if we assemble this combo and gain eh, a few thousand few million life our opponent's probably just going to scoop it up the other thing that we can do with woe strider is it allows us to scry so as we are going through this infinite life combo eventually we can scry command the dread horde to the top and then command the dread horde can just reanimate our graveyard can reanimate any of our opponent stuff we killed and that can kind of be our big finisher if we actually have to kill our opponent but really just making a million life should be enough to win most to the games. The rest of the deck is designed to support the combo. We have ways to protect the combo. Agonizing Remorse to Fairy Time Raveler. So Agonizing Remorse just snags a counter spell or removal spell that could mess up our combo from our opponent's hand. To Fairy Time Raveler just makes our opponent not cast stuff during our turn. So that means we are free to play our combo pieces, combo off, don't have to worry about counters, interaction, any of that stuff. We also have some ways to find our combo pieces. Omen of the Sea comes down early, does a little bit of scrying, draws us a card. We can scry again with it later, so a good way to find our combo pieces, add some consistency to the deck, well, Soren Vengeful Bloodlord, just a one of, but it allows us to reanimate stuff, so if our Woe Strider dies, or our Bishop dies, uh, Soren comes down, gets it back, allows us to proceed to combo off and win the game. Otherwise, we get a bunch of removal to help us stay alive long enough to assemble our combo, basically. Uh, that's the other challenge of the deck. We are trying to resolve three different pieces, find three different pieces, and get a five-man enchantment on the battlefield. That's what we need to gain infinite life and win the game. Game. So Tyrant Scorn, Eat to Extraction, give us removal. Cavalier of Dawn, a big body that also kills basically anything when it comes into play, uh, which is a nice upside. And then we have some Kaya's Rest to sweep the board. And remember, as we do our scry trick, eventually we probably scry into that Command the Dread Horde. So being able to like blow up a bunch of our opponent's stuff and then get it back with our infinite life, because we can Command the Dread Horde for literally everything. Infinite life means we can get everything back from every graveyard when we cast Command the Dread Horde. So being able to wrath our opponent's board, actually a pretty sweet upside, because we're eventually going to steal all those creatures with Command the Dread Horde. And that's a basic plan 
clan of the deck. As far as the mana base, Castle Ardenvale, super sweet because it makes 4-4 four, four angels if we have Divine Visitation. Making a 1-1 one, one for 5 mana, that's fine. Or 4 mana plus tapping Ardenvale, so basically 5 mana. But making a 4-4 four, four on repeat, it basically just is a Sarah Angel on a land every single turn. A bunch of shock lands, Fable Passage, some basic lands, some scry lands. As far as the sideboard, we have a bunch of removal. Noxious Grass for Nyssa and green creatures, also white creatures. D-Spark gets rid of bigger things. A bunch of counters for the control matchup. Mystical Dispute, Whirlwind Denial, really good against Hydroid Crosses since it gets crosses and stops a card draw. Narset to shut down card draw, good in the control matchups, finds our pieces. And then Tide Taker, this one's a little weird. It's kind of counter protection a little bit lightly. Also pretty good against Cat Oven, lots of activated ability of decks plus it blocks twice against aggro when we get the afterlight spirit and that is divine woe strider combo for standard and that's been our instant deck tech for today so thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here